So here I have opened Microsoft 365 Copilot Chat, and I have a blog post to write this morning, so let me use Copilot. Here in the prompt I said, I need to work on a blog post about Power Automate for an audience of IT professionals that are new to the Power Platform. It needs to be about 800 words in length, and I want you to help me create it one paragraph at a time. And you know what, let's tell it, start with only the introduction for now. Whenever I work with Copilot to create long text, I really like to let it work one paragraph at a time. This way, it's a lot easier for me to ask changes, things like that. This way, I don't have to ask it changes about the whole blog post. I can really focus one paragraph at a time. Now you see, it gave me the introduction here, and let's read it real quick. At first glance, it looks good. And, you know, usually what I would have to do now is I would have to take this, copy it into a Word document, and then I would have to switch context all the time. But at the bottom of it, and I'm a bit zoomed in now so you see a bit better, but this is what it will look like in a bit more of a normal resolution, I have Edit with Pages. So once I click on it, it will create a brand new page here and automatically copy the result of the prompt in the page. So as you can see, it really copies everything. Let me clean it up a bit here. Let's delete the first part. Let's delete the second part over here. Let's delete this. And let me fix the title as well. There we go. Now I have it blog introduction to Power Automate. Now our Copilot page is Microsoft Loop. So you can use it exactly as you would Microsoft Loop, which is a bit different than using Word because you see, we do not have a ribbon. However, if I want to, for example, add a heading or add anything like that, I can just do the slash and then I can add a table, checklist, divider. I have all my headings, collapsible headings, quotes, Everything is here in the slash, but okay, let's continue our blog post. Now I want to ask Copilot, great, now what would the rest of the outline look like? What would your headings be? And Copilot is here writing them at the bottom. Let's see what it did. It's what is Power Automate, getting started with Power Automate, key features and capabilities, and so on. I can always just copy paste if I want to, Nothing stops me from doing it. And then let's say I want to make this an H1 here. I can select it, make it an H1. Okay, now let me ask it. Let's put in here, create the what is Power Automate paragraph. So there it only took a few seconds and it created it. But you know what? I feel like it's missing something. Let me ask Copilot, can you tell me some statistics of the usage of Power Automate? I want to show it's very popular. So you don't have to copy each one into pages. You can keep chatting with Copilot on the left side here. So we have our Copilot chat and then only copy the perks that you need inside Copilot pages, which is pretty amazing. So there we go. Now it gave me the statistics. You know what? But I didn't want them separate. I want Copilot. Let me ask it. Can you incorporate those? into the what is Power Automate paragraph. There we go, it took a few seconds and it did it. Now it looks pretty good, I'm not gonna read it all, that's not the topic of this course. Let's click on Edit in Pages, and there we go, it added it underneath. There's still a little bit of cleanup to do here, so I'll clean up the stuff before and after my paragraph, but this is how Copilot Pages gives me that permanent storage where I can save the results about Copilot prompts. And right now I haven't really been using a lot of work data. I've been focusing on web data. And remember, you don't even need an M365 Copilot license for this. Even if you only have the web tab or you don't have a license, as long as you have access to Copilot chat, you have access to pages. Now, let's try and leverage some work data in here. So I will tell Copilot, great. Next, I want you to talk about the three types of flows we have in Power Automate. I already have some information on this in my OneDrive, so use those files as a source. And because I want to make sure that it leverages the right ones, 
I can always click on slash here. And I know my first one is introducing business process flows. Then I also have one that is uh, creating here cloud flows with Power Automate. And then finally, I have one about robotic process automation. There we go. So I'm telling Copilot, create content, but base it on those three documents in my OneDrive for Business. Don't go to the web, just base it on those documents. Let's see what it did. It did a great job. It did the paragraph. Great. Let's go here, click on edit in pages, clean it up, and we have our content saved into our page. Great. So, so far we have done text-based stuff. Now I won't keep going on with my blog post. Let's move on to other types of content. What else would I need for this blog post? I probably need some images in there because I need to have a cover image. So let me ask Copilot, can you create an image for this introduction to Power Automate blog post? Now Copilot will take a few seconds here and then usually it will give me four different images about the topic. So let's see how good it is. Usually when it has text inside, there is usually some mistakes, but anyway, I just want to show you the images. There we go. It gave us three options. Let's say this, the first one here, is the one that I like the most. Again, usually I would have to download it and everything, but with pages, I can just click the add to pages here that you just saw. I'll just go to another image again. There is the add to pages button, and then it adds it to the page as well. So it's not only text, it is also images. I can also ask Copilot as an example. Great, now can you please create a checklist for me to get this blog post lives? Here are some items on it and format it as a table. And I just added a few tasks like create a draft, review draft, and publish the blog post. Let me add this to the top. This way we have everything in here. And as you can see, Copilot Pages was able to see that this is a table and automatically applied the table format to it. That is pretty cool. Great. Now what I will do here, instead of just having it like that, the name, I want to tag everybody. So let me tag here Vlad. Let me go here and tag Vanessa. And then let me go here and tag Alex. But you probably already noticed something. Vanessa and Alex show up in red. That's because this page is only accessible to me. I haven't shared it with anybody yet. We'll cover that in just a minute. But before we go to that, I have my page. I have my blog post ready. I'll need to share it with Vanessa and Alex soon. But for now, you're probably asking yourself, how do you get back to this page in the future? So first of all, if ever you don't want to see the page as you're working with Copilot, you always have the open page and close page here at the top. So while you're in the conversation, you can always open and close it, which is pretty amazing. Or you can go view all your pages here, which will bring you back to the Microsoft 365 home and the pages here on the left. So you will always be able to get to it from your Microsoft 365 home. You have pages and right now I only have one of them. And as you can see, it's exactly the same thing. The other way to get to it is from Microsoft Loop. So as you can see, once you go to Loop, which you can either access from your app launcher here, I have access to Loop, or maybe you know the URL by heart. Once you go to your recent components and pages, you see I have my blog, Intro to Power, Automate, and from here, I can modify my Loop component. Something that is, of course, really cool is once you're in Loop here, you can also rewrite stuff with Copilot. So you can change things using Copilot. A Copilot page doesn't take anything away from Loop. You still have that full Loop experience, including Copilot in Microsoft Loop, which is pretty amazing. Now, this is it for this first demo on how to use Copilot pages really alone here as I work on content. But now let's learn how we can use Copilot pages to work with others.